Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. We are still in Samui, uh, but today we are heading back to Bangkok. So we just jumped in the back of a Rotsong Tao uh, to go back to Na Thon, which is the ferry pier. And so from there, we're gonna take a ferry and then a bus to Suratani and then back to, and then a flight back to Bangkok. Stopping to fill up some petrol real fast. We jumped off of the Rotsong Tao kind of at the edge of town, right as the sea started. And now we're walking down the road, trying to look for something to eat for lunch. We didn't have a lot of luck finding a restaurant, so we just came into a restaurant just on the side of the road. Um, and they have both uh, which are noodles, as well as some a few different curry dishes. Not a big selection, but just a couple. This one is gengmu, which is a uh, pork curry. And then over here, I ordered pakliang tomgati, which is malinjo leaves, which are an awesome, awesome vegetable leaf and boiled in coconut milk. And then over here is just a couple of batu tod, which are fried little mackerels. This is just an amazing vegetable. Set that down on the rice. Mm. A little bit chewy, but it just has a wonderful texture to it. And I love it. Grab some of this curry. I can taste a little bit of turmeric and it does have a good chili heat to it. Oh, that's good. Let me put one of these onto my rice. And the easiest thing to do is kind of go down the middle of the, the fish and tear off the, the side of the meat there. All right, and then you, that's half the fish in one bite. You can never go wrong with batu hog. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Just, yeah, just a beautiful little mackerel. We're done with lunch. We're now walking over to the ferry terminal. Uh, gonna try to buy our tickets, and I hope we don't have to wait too long until the ferry leaves. We ended up walking all the way out to the end of the pier to buy our tickets for the ferry, but they said we could only buy the ferry tickets and not the bus combination to the airport. So they told us we have to walk all the way back into town to buy the ferry and bus combination to the airport. Successful, we just bought our tickets on the ferry and the bus, and it's from a place called Pantip Travel, right on the main road in Natan. Our ferry isn't gonna leave for about an hour, so we stopped at a place just on the corner called Coffee Island, just to have a quick cup of coffee. into the ferry now, uh, but before we got onto the ferry, there is a little snack, a uh, couple snack souvenir shops at the front of the pier, and Ying wanted to buy some galame, which is a famous uh, little dessert snack, which is popular in the south of Thailand, but it's very popular and it's very famous from Koh Samui. The green one is Bai Tai, which is a pandan, but the normal one is the brown one, which, and they're wrapped into little plastic triangles. Okay, open that up. And it's, you unravel the piece of plastic. This is some, oh, that is goopy. It's basically, it's a combination of sticky rice flour and then palm sugar. And then at the top are some sesame seeds. And even, as soon as you touch it, look how sticky that is. that like sticks to the roof of your mouth. It's very smooth and very sticky. Whoa. I think 
got stuck to my throat. Um, and it has kind of a burnt sugar taste to it. It almost has a light caramely flavor to it. We successfully made it to the airport in Surat Thani and we are waiting for our flight, have about an hour to spare. But I just want to quickly share a few thoughts about visiting Got Samui. And everything I say is kind of relative and in comparison to traveling in other, in other parts of Thailand. We spent a total of just four days in Samui and two days were at the really nice resort which was extremely nice. The beach was also very nice um, in the Mainam area. Uh, and then we transferred to Lamai, which kind of, and kind of the end of Lamai in kind of a little private area. Uh, so we only visited those two beaches. Got Samui is a tourist based island, and so tourism is the, the biggest part of the economy. And so prices, in re relative comparison to other parts of Thailand, are on the high side, even for small things like buying fruit on the side of the street. Uh, the prices are a little higher than you would pay in other parts of Thailand. Let's move on to the food. Something I really liked was the khao gang, the rice and curry. So if you go, if you're walking along kind of in, in a local area and find a rice and curry restaurant, that is your best bet for getting some delicious food in Samui, I think. Um, other than that, there are many uh, kind of international and Thai restaurants catering to tourists, which are, which can be good and can be not so good as well. So there's kind of a big mix of different restaurants and I had some good and bad meals as you have seen through the vlogs. Overall, it was a good trip. We are about to catch our flight back to Bangkok. I want to say a big thank you for watching these videos about Got Samui. I'm going to write all about them and everything we did over on migrationology.com, which I will link to here and here um, and in the description box. And also about the food, I will write about some of the restaurants over on eatingthaifood.com. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching the whole series and see you on the next video.